In this lesson, we'll fly an ILS approach to runway 13 right at Boeing Field in Seattle, Washington. I have tuned and identified the IBFI ILS and the NOLA locator outer marker. We're about eight nautical miles northwest of Boeing Field. We're flying east on a heading of 085 degrees at 2,200 feet. We'll need to intercept the ILS and then make our approach. Watch the VOR1 indicator. This is our ILS display. As an ILS instrument, it uses both the vertical needle and the horizontal needle. The vertical needle represents the localizer, and the horizontal needle represents the glide slope. Let's start our approach to intercept the ILS. We'll make our approach to runway 13 right by following the ILS. The inbound course of the ILS is 130 degrees. Okay, you've got the airplane. I'll work the radios, you do the flying. Now we're close to intercepting the localizer. As the localizer needle starts to move, begin a right turn to intercept. Remember that the inbound course is 130 degrees. I show the localizer needle is active. Turn right to intercept. Remember that a localizer is much more sensitive than a VOR course, so we'll have to be much more diligent in tracking it. Slow down. Set flaps to 10 degrees and reduce power to slow to 90 knots. That's good. Hold 2,200 feet until you see the horizontal glide slope needle center in the VOR1 indicator. When the horizontal glide slope needle centers, you're on the proper descent path. There's NOLA, the locator outer marker. Listen for the sound and notice the blinking blue light. This tells you you're at NOLA. We're now at 6.4 miles from the runway threshold. You're now on the glide slope. Start your descent for landing. The approach chart says we should be at 2,117 feet at the marker with the glide slope needle centered. This is an extra check to make sure our altimeter is indicating correctly. Remember to make small corrections on the localizer and glide slope. They're very sensitive. If the glide slope needle moves toward the top of the VOR1 indicator, you're too low. Reduce your descent rate. Don't try to climb back to the glide slope. Just level off and wait for it to come back to you. If the glide slope needle moves toward the bottom of the VOR1 indicator, you're too high. Increase your descent rate. The approach chart says that we should have a descent rate of approximately 500 feet per minute to remain on the glide slope. Focus on maintaining a constant descent rate and be careful not to chase the glide slope needle. Decision altitude for this approach is 263 feet, but for convenience, we'll use 300 feet. If we get to 300 feet without seeing the runway, we'll immediately execute a missed approach.
There's the middle marker, Captain. We're close to landing. I have the runway straight ahead, and we're cleared to land. Now that we can see the runway, let's prepare to land. As you cross over the runway threshold, smoothly reduce the power to idle. Hold the nose slightly above the horizon. Don't let it drop, but don't try to raise it either. Slow down. Great job. Welcome to Boeing Field. As a good educational aid, why don't you check out the flight analysis while I go park the airplane? 